Time Out Dubai presents a brief look at the Palm Monorail Transit System. The Palm $436 million monorail transit system in operation, with the Atlantis Hotel seen in the background. The monorail will initially shuttle up to 2,400 passengers per hour between the Gateway Station, at the trunk of the man-made island, and Atlantis stations, at the Crescent, where visitors can access the Atlantis Hotel and Aqua Venture Water Park. Four separate trains, each made up of three cars, will initially run along the 1,000-meter dual-track railway, with the journey between the two stations lasting nine minutes with an average speed of about seven kilometers an hour, or just a little less than four miles per hour. The driverless system will be increased to a total of nine monorail trains per hour, with a capacity of 6,000 passengers, once it is connected to the Dubai Metro, which opened in September. 2009. Nakheel has plans to ultimately connect the service to the Dubai Metro, after the introduction of RTA's Al Safu tram line, which would offer direct links to Dubai International Airport. End of the line, for the Palm Monorail. A family enjoys a ride on the new rapid transit system, to serve both residents and visitors to Palm Humeira. We see another view of the Palm Monorail train in action, on the other track transporting its passengers to the station we just left. Passengers enjoying their trip, while traveling on Dubai's Palm Monorail. Another sweeping view from the Palm Monorail, of Dubai's world-famous Atlantis Luxury Hotel. Ticket vending machines, TVMs, are conveniently located at each station, 